I just left St. Anthony's Monastery in Florence, Arizona. A beautiful place. I've been here several times. It's an Orthodox monastery on uh, quite a few acres. It's quite large. There are several shrines to um, various saints, one of which is Saint Seraphim. Um, I have taken some pictures of that and a little bit of video and we'll splice that in here. I had a profound experience there. I seem to have had a... something told me to come here. And um, after some time at the shrine, uh, I had an experience. Uh, I'm not going to elaborate on it. I think these things are somewhat personal. Some of my experiences I will um, reveal and pass on. Um, but the more recent ones that occur, I think most of us should keep that to ourselves as they develop because it, 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 as they develop because it may not be the end of it. It may have been you may have had a longing and a pulling to come to, for example, the a monastery uh, like I had. and you do your prayers, your meditations, and you have an experience, you have a, a, an awakening, a, a, an enlightenment. And you should not automatically think, that's it. Um, now I'm complete. There may be more. That may be a, a bigger step on the path. Maybe you've taken, um, instead of walking straight down the path you've been walking, now there's a little diversion. And it's, it's, uh, a, it turns out to be a bigger diversion that leads you back onto the path and expounds upon things that you thought you knew already, already about. Um, so don't ever think that one experience is going to be it and that it's going to launch you and propel you forward. It very well may, but don't assume so keep those things, the, the more recent, your more recent experiences, uh, a bit private. That's, that's my opinion. And keep it to yourself. Um, still continue to pray and meditate upon it. Um, and answer the callings as they come. And see where it leads you. Don't be shy to explore. And know that there is the one. There is oneness, there is love, compassion, understanding, serenity, and peace each step of the way. You should grow closer and closer to that. And as you do, you'll understand more and more. I hope this message has been helpful to you. And that you continue to walk down your path and that in some way, fashion, and form, Eternal Spring Lifestyle, the websites, the Twitters, all of this stuff is able to help you along your path. And if there's anything I can ever do for you, please, please, please feel free to contact me. Thank you and may God have mercy on your path.